Hello friends, Honda unveiled Elevate SUV to compete with the Creta, Celtas and Grand Vitara. The much awaited Honda Elevate has finally been launched in India. This is the sports utility vehicle SUV uh, global debut as well. The while Honda has not announced the SUV's price, it is expected to be priced between rupees 12 lakh to 18 lakh. The bookings for the Elevate will begin in July and the car will be available during the festive season. The Honda Elevate features a large shiny grill at the front and comes with a thick body. It is inspired from the Honda CRV that was launched globally in 2022. The Honda Elevate is equipped with a 1.5 liter DOHC IV Tech petrol engine similar to the company's sedan. Uh, the Honda Elevate delivers 121 PS of power and 145.1 Newton meter of the peak torque. The Honda Elevate features a 10.25 inch infotainment system, a 7 inch HD TFT display tablet and uh, unauthorized access alert and more. With the new Hyundai i20 facelift, we expect the same set of powertrains along with the transmission options as well as, a, as the same as the current model. The i20 is one of the most popular premium hatchbacks in India. Currently in its third generation avatar, Hyundai is set to give it a mild facelift. First set of the test mule spy shots surfaced from Europe and now similar set of changes are likely to feature on the India spec i20. The company launched their facelifted model in November 2020. Closing three years from launch, the Hyundai is updating it with a facelift. This will be very subtle facelift and will not depart significantly from current model. Hyundai i20 facelift test mule surfaced in India for the first time and we can expect it to launch by the all important festive season. As seen in spy shots, the Hyundai has camouflaged its only from front and rear. At the sides, there is no, uh, the, no, not a single change other than the new alloy wheel design. These new wheels are still five spoke design, just executed differently. Hyundai has made the wheels more angular and geometric in nature. Uh, from front and rear, we don't expect radical changes. Uh, this think I20 Elite's first facelift. Spy shots reveal the Hyundai's sensuous sportiness design philosophy similar to the current model. Front will feature a slight redesign. The company seems to be making it a little sportier than its currently uh, uh, current model. We expect a larger grill, redesigned LED DRL in headlights and uh, a sportier bumper with fog lights. Other notable changes are likely in the rear. A new taillight LED signature is probable. Hyundai might even offer a entirely new taillights as well. Redesigned rear bumpers and tailgate are possible too. On the inside, there will be a very few changes. For starters, this test mule features a dash cam on the inside. Dash cam is something that Hyundai offers in venue in line and will offer in upcoming extra. This is a handy feature that will add value to customers. Other than that, we hope Hyundai offer ventilated seats as well. Hyundai i20 facelift will feature the same set of engines as before. Standard i20 buyers can, uh, can choose between 1.2 liter 4 cylinder naturally aspirated petrol, producing 82 bhp of power and 115 newton meter of torque, having the transmission choices of 5 speed manual transmission and CVT. 1 liter 3 cylinder turbo petrol engine producing 118 bhp of power and 172 Nm of torque uh, and having the transmission option of 7 speed DCT while i20 n line buyers get the same 1 liter turbo petrol engine with a choice between 6 speed man IMT and 7 speed DCT features in current model include a touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless phone chargers, automatic climate control, LED projector headlights and fog lights, rear AC vents, a sunroof, cruise control and more. We hope Hyundai consider launching an active crossover version of the i20 as it used to with the second generation model. We say this because the Maruti Suzuki has launched the France which is a crossover version of the Balino to bridge between segments. Rivals include Maruti Suzuki, Balino, France. Tata Ultras and Toyota Glanza. Hyundai Exter. Hyundai Exter uh, is a feature packed micro SUV set to redefine the segment. 
The it Xter is based on the Nias and Aura platform, which also explains how it will get a 1.2 liter petrol only. The Xter petrol will have a power output of 83 bhp of power and 140 newton meter of torque, along with a 5 speed manual as a standard plus and AMT automatic. There will be uh, also be a CNG ma model with a 5 speed manual gearbox. The 1.2 liter Kappa petrol engine is also E20 fuel ready. The till date Hyundai has confirmed several features for the Xter and it will get a lot of segment first features normally not seen on SUVs at uh, this segment. The Xter will get a dash cam, 6 airbags as standard, a rear view camera, ESC, hill hold assist, connected car technology, automatic headlamps etc. The Xter is also having a first in segment electric sunroof which can respond to voice commands which is uh, again something new to this segment space. If you, if you talk about the variant list, Xter will come with EX, S, SX, SXO, SXO connect trims. In terms of the colors on offer, Xter has 6 monotone and 3 dual tone exterior color options including 2 new colors design wise. The Xter has a parametric grill, head signature LED DRLs, projector headlamps, skid plate plus the tail lamps also have the head signature lighting pattern. There are a diamond cut alloy wheels on offer too which looks sportier while ground clearance seems pretty good as well. The Xter will form the entry for the Hyundai SUV range while slotting itself below the venue. With the Xter, Hyundai is hoping to tap its into a larger market share for its SUV range. The Marty Suzuki Engage. The Marty Engage launch date has been revealed that is 5th July 2023 20, uh, based on the Innova High Cross. This uh, Maruti Suzuki Engage will have the design uh, language. Batch engineering has enabled the Maruti Suzuki and Toyota to expand their portfolio in India. Maruti Suzuki is extending this partnership to sell the batch engineering in Nova High Cross as Engage. It will feature a new front fascia along with some minor changes to the taillight signature. Apart from this batching, the branding Maruti Suzuki will keep the rest of the High Cross as is. Earlier this year, Maruti Chairman RC. Bargava suggested a launch in two months. Today, Maruti Suzuki has announced the official launch date via teaser. New Maruti Suzuki Engage MPV will launch on 5th July 2023. Maruti Suzuki Engage will be a monoQQ uh, MPV underpinned by the Toyota's TNGA platform. The sole 2 litre petrol engine is on offer in non hybrid and uh, hybrid guises. In non-hybrid guys, uh, Engage will boost 171 bhp and 205Nm. Hybrid powertrain generates 183.8 bhp of power and 188Nm along with a 206Nm motor. Marathi's upcoming flagship will uh, feature a panoramic sunroof, premium interiors, ADA suit, ambient lighting, a rear seat auto man and a lot more. Innova High Cross claims up to 23.2 km per liter fuel efficiency. Expect the Maruti Engage to deliver about the same mileage. It remains to be seen whether Maruti Suzuki will only launch strong hybrid variants of Engage or both hybrid and non hybrid variants. Currently, Toyota offers a six trim levels namely G, GX, VX, VXO, EZX, and EZXO. If Maruti Suzuki offers both hybrid and non hybrid variants, these trim levels could translate perfectly into Sigma, Delta, Zeta, Alpha, Alpha Plus. Only Zeta, Alpha and Alpha Plus come equipped with a self-charging uh, strong hybrid powertrain. While Sigma and Delta will be gasoline only. The name Intelligent Hybrid is likely for the strong hybrid variants with Maruti Suzuki Engage. Render design reveals what Maruti Suzuki Engage might look like. The headlights get the Nextari uh, LED DRLs similar to most other Nexa vehicles. The grille is different to incorporate a chrome plague that connects uh, both headlight units. A large Suzuki logo takes center stage here and the lower bumper will uh, with LED DRLs is similar to. Other changes include different alloy wheels. This is one of the most efficient ways of batch engineering keeping most of the design aspects similar. On the inside, we expect changes in the upholstery colors and badges and nothing more. This way, Maruti Suzuki Engage might uh, cost close to the Innova Icross. 
2023 Maruti Alto taxi variant that is Tour H1. Maruti Suzuki Tour H1 is basically an Alto K10 hatchback for commercial applications and features the same 1 liter K10C engine as well. Just after launching its 5 door lifestyle off-roader Jimny, Maruti Suzuki has introduced its Tour H1 hatchback for CV space. Maruti Suzuki's tour portfolio for commercial applications is now complete with a hatchback, a sedan and an MPV. The company based uh, uh, Tour H1 uh, on Alto K10 with both petrol only and petrol plus CNG by fuel options. Prices for the range starts from rupees 480500 for Tour H1 1 liter 5 speed manual transmission variant rupees 570500 for the Tour H1 CNG 1 liter 5 speed manual transmission both prices are extra Maruti Suzuki is offering Tour H1 in three color choices named metallic skin silky silver metallic granite gray and otic white The Tour H1 is a rebranded Alto K10 for commercial applications when compared to Alto K10 Tour H1 cost rupees 80500 more than base standard trim which cost rupees 3.99 lakh both prices are extra Maruti Suzuki is charging rupees 91000 for CNG variant of Tour H1 which is in line with what the company charges with Alto K10 CNG variants as well The company claims Tour H1 to be India's most fuel efficient entry level commercial hatchback just like with base standard variant of Alto K10 Maruti Suzuki is not offering painted front and rear bumpers with the Tour H1 the 1 liter K10 C petrol engine in Tour H1 promises 24.60 km per liter fuel efficiency and its CNG derivative promises 34.46 km per kg fuel efficiency Speaking of the engine Tour H1 gets the same 1 liter 3 cylinder dual jet dual VVT unit as Alto K10 this powertrain is capable of generating around 65 bhp of power and 89 newton meter of torque with petrol only and around 55 bhp of power and 82.1 newton meter of torque when run on CNG Maruti Suzuki mentions that there are a bunch of safety equipment as standard on Tour H1. These safety features include dual airbags, front seat belts with load limiters and pre-tensioner functionality, seat belt warning and reminders for both front and rear occupants, ABS, EBD, engine immobilizer, reverse parking sensors and a speed governor limiting top speed of to 80 km per hour. 2024 Mahindra XCV 500 Pay SUV which is recently spied which is expected to be a B.05 electric vehicle it is likely that the test mule spotted is either a new generation Mahindra XCV 500 to rival the Creta or BE5 which is planned for the launch in October 2025 With the launch of XCV 700, Mahindra discontinued XCV 500, but they promised to bring the XCV 500 back in a next generation avatar, probably based on their futuristic BEV design language. Now a test mule has been spied in Chennai, which could likely be new generation XCV 500 Coupe SUV. It is also possible that this could be one of their newborn electric SUV. Last year in August, Mahindra had revealed and built its born electric range it includes the xcv range xcv.e8 xcv.e9 and that be range that be.5 be.7 and be.09 all of these are based on the born electric ion glo platform apart from the new technology the test mule also wears a unique colorful camouflage wrapping it is quite different from the usual black and white wrapping seen on the indian roads as compared to the radical design of the concept unveiled last year the test mule has transformed into a more practical form while the core cell hotty and design of the front fascia have been retained the paneling is now a lot smoother the concept version had deep grooves and sharp curves which have been chiseled down a bit however be.5 continues to have a sporty and unique styling and like any other mahindra car in production right now some of the key highlights include c shaped led drls sculpted tampering bonnet squarish wheel locks and sporty alloy wheels as compared to the concept that had a camera based rear view assembly 
the test mule can be seen with conventional ORVMs. At rear, some key features of the BE5 include a tapering roof line with sporty spoiler, uh, prominent tailgate, and full width LED strip. Inside Mahindra BE.5 has a two large touch screens and a sporty two spoke steering wheel. The SUV has a uh, aircraft style large gear selector and a rotary control dial. The driver and front passenger area are neatly divided into two separate sections by the central console. BE.5 will have the premium upholstery and soft touch surfaces all around. While official numbers are not available, it is expected that Mahindra BE.5 will have a range of around 400 to 500 km. The Mahindra BEVs based on the INGLO platform will be powered by FLP battery packs. Both blade and prismatic cell architectures will be used. Battery packs will be in the range of 60 to 80 kilowatt hour. These are chargeable with a high powered 175 kilowatt fast chargers that can load up to 80 percentage in less than 30 minutes. Underpinned by the INGLO platform, Mahindra BEVs including BE.5 are promising an accelerating performance. Both rear wheel and all wheel drive options will be available, generating 170 to 210 kilowatt and 250 to 290 kilowatt respectively. 0 to 100 km per hour will be achievable in just 5 to 6 seconds. BE.5 will be 4370 mm long, 1900 mm wide, and 1635 mm tall. It will have a wheelbase of 2775 mm. All Mahindra BEVs will be getting a comprehensive range of advanced safety features. This will comply with the leading safety benchmarks such as GNCAP. Equipment equipped with 5 radars, 1 vision uh, ADAS architecture. Mahindra BEVs based on the INGLO platform are future ready with up to uh, L2 plus autonomy SUV. Please stay tuned to our channel for further updates. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.